cousins, look at my face. Does my face look like I use 10 pound products? Absolutely not. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. Hello cousins, it's Kemi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some really, really good affordable makeup products that you need if you don't have it already. They are under £10, they work amazingly, they will have your makeup looking flawless and you don't have to break the bank. Girl! I got you, okay? So without further ado, if you are interested to find some drugstore gems that you need in your makeup kit, then please stay tuned, okay? What's up, darlings? How you doing? It is cold. Oh my God, it is freezing. We got our big ass mug because anybody got time to be getting sick, okay? Guys, I got a spot in my brows. Like my time of the month is coming, but like why would I get a spot right there? Like why? And don't be making sense. So starting off with primer, I actually can't decide which one I prefer. I like them both for different reasons. Obviously the Maybelline Baby Skin Insta Port Eraser is a holy grail, it's everyone's favorite. Like it's one of the best drugstore primers in terms of like feeling pores, having your makeup look flawless. This is honestly top tier in the drugstore department. However, I have been loving the MUA Pro Base Glow Dew Eliminating Primer. At first I was scared of this product, but I actually really like it. For my base, I personally prefer a natural radiant finish. I like my skin to look healthy. I don't like it to be too matte but I also want longevity. I want makeup to hold in place. I don't want it to be like slipping and sliding off my face. So these are like my two favorite under 10 pounds primer that I would recommend. Mm, I'm gonna go with both. The Glow Do does look a little bit scary at first, but like once you start blending it in, but like massages into your skin and you don't get that white cast. Look at that compared to that girl and i only apply this on like the high point of my face i don't want to put on my teaser because my teaser has been getting oily as of late so i don't want to put a glowy product there now i'm gonna go in with the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser i'm gonna grab two pumps of that I'm just gonna massage it everywhere else on my face the only only thing that i don't like about this primer is like it feels a little bit like silicone -y. and i don't really like silicone primers but nonetheless the primer is really good I really like it. When it comes to setting sprays, I have a lot of setting sprays from the drugstore that I really like. One being the I Heart Revolution Watermelon Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray. If you've watched my videos in the past, I literally rinse through this and it's also under 10 pounds. However, the one I have been loving as of late and I would recommend to you guys is the MUA Pro Base Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Facial Spray and the Pro Base Fixing Spray. These two will have your makeup looking Lawless. I typically use the hydrated one to like prep my skin and I use the fixing spray to like merge everything together and hold my makeup. It's like a final step in my makeup routine that I use this. So we're gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid facial spray first. Smells divine as well. And both of them are under 10 pounds. Next, I'm gonna go in and color correct my under eye cause baby, we don't be sleeping over here. And one of my favorite products to color correct is my Revolution Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Deep Dot. You guys have seen this multiple times on my channel. And it's because it's a really good concealer. Like I've used this so many times and look, I haven't made a dent in it. The only problem is this concealer doesn't come in multiple shades. Like the shade range is very limited, but it's a really, really good, thick concealer. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap that underneath my eyes using a concealer blending brush. This is by Morphe, I believe, but it's like wiped out. And that goes a long way with this concealer as well. So, you know. You're gonna get your money's worth. When it comes to foundation, I kind of struggled a bit to find a foundation that was under 10 pounds that I love and I would recommend. Obviously there are foundations that are under 10 pounds, but I personally wouldn't recommend them. The purpose of today's video is to show you guys really good products from the drugstore department that works really well as like a high-end 
product. Of course, there is many, many foundations that is under £10. But to find one that I love and I have at home was a bit hard, but I happened to find one, which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. Once the brands start coming out with like the Conceal and Glow, Conceal and Hydrate, I kind of forgot about the original one. The original one is still good, but I don't use it as much. Because of my skin type, I will go for the Conceal and Hydrate or the Conceal and Glow. Either one is really good. I'm going to use the Conceal and Hydrate one today. But if you're looking for a drugstore foundation that's a little bit more than £10, I recommend the True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. The name's long, I can't lie, but this is so lightweight, but it has pigment. It will cover up everything. I believe this is a dupe for the Rare Beauty foundation. I feel like it's exactly the same thing. It's just that they have a limited shade range in this compared to the Rare Beauty one. Or my absolute favorite drugstore foundation, which is also by L'Oreal, is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear foundation this foundation is definitely my top three drugstore foundation of all times like, i absolutely love this foundation i love the way it wears i love the finish of it it's like a medium coverage where you can build it out to like a full coverage absolute gem this i believe is like maybe 12 pounds and these are like 15 pounds that's a little alternative if you don't mind splurging a tiny bit more on a drugstore foundation those are the two other products that i would recommend let's go in with the conceal and hydrate foundation by Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna shake it up. And I do feel like I might have gone darker. I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a pump. Ooh. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this on my face because I have gone darker. I'm just gonna start blending this in. I feel like the one thing drugstore brands do and they do well is concealers. Depending on the kind of finish you're looking for, there are pretty good concealers out there in the drugstore department. Obviously, one of the cult favorite is the Revolution Conceal and the Fine Concealer. This has been loved by many for years now. It is full coverage, the price point is lovely, and you get so much use out of this. However, I'm not gonna go with this today because I feel like everyone has this. Everyone knows how it wears. It's just a staple must-have product in your makeup kit. The concealer I'll be using in today's video is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. Love this concealer, very full coverage. And I'm also going to use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer as well. These sales here are one of like the holy grail gems in the drugstore department. Very inexpensive and it's under £10 as well. I'm just going to dot the Maybelline one underneath my eyes. Love the shade of this. By the way, I'm using the shade 11 Tan. Of course, the only thing I don't like is the applicator because it's very like dirty that's why i don't use it as much well i say that and like i'm halfway through the bottle <laughs> oh my god the elf concealer as well are really really good the camera six down with concealer love let me see if i can find it the matte and the hydrator one i love both of them they are so good as well that's another option for you guys i'm just gonna go and start planning this out cut the coverage on her again like i said it depends on the type of coverage you're looking for if you're looking for like a natural finish not that much coverage concealer funny enough i'll recommend the nyx bear with me concealer serum this is well suited for people that don't need that much coverage don't think it's under 10 pounds though i'm not too sure can't remember but this i love the natural baby girls on tiktok i love this i didn't love it as much because i love my coverage i love my thickness so it wasn't suited for someone like me and then i'm gonna use the nyx can't start with concealer and just place it under my eyes this concealer is so creamy if you love the nars natural radiant creamy concealer you will love this because it's exactly the same thing whilst that is it i'm actually going to go with my elf hydrating camera concealer in the shade deep chestnut and we'll use that to highlight the rest of our face Okay, we are looking 10 shade lighter than our skin tone so it's time to start bringing some definition back into this skin to do that i'm going to use this combination that i have been loving you guys have seen it so many times on my channel it's just because it works really well for me the 17 second skin enhancing foundation in the shade 007n and the dubious place i am magic stick foundation babes run go grab this you need it Okay, I will not steer you wrong. You need this too. The way this too looks on my skin. <sighs> Granted, they are both foundations, but I like to use them as a contour slash bronzing. I'm gonna place the 17 foundation on first. Oh, that's a lot. And then we're gonna blend her out. 
this is more of a very subtle bronzing shade for me but then that's why I go in with my Giva Space one and deepen it up. Love the colour of this, love how it blends, it's just stunning. Just so you're aware, it's gonna look muddy before it starts to look good. Now we go in with our stick foundation. Giva Space really did their thing. Like the whole brand is just stunning and so thoughtful. They really catered to the girls, okay? They really catered to the chocolate girls. It's so amazing and them being black owned as well. It's just so amazing. Like for blush, the Revolution Blush Bomb are really good, really pretty. They have so many shades in this as well. By the way, the shade I'm using is Savage Coral. Really, really pretty. Now I go in and blend up my under eye. I've been just sitting there for a minute. Go back in my foundation brush now and blend everything together. I'm gonna start setting my under eye and to do that I'm gonna use my absolute favorite Maybelline Fit Me powder. You guys know I love this, like I'm already hitting pan. I also love the e.l.f. powder as well but if I had to choose which one, it will be the Maybelline because she was the OG favorite, okay? But the e.l.f. one is top tier as well. I feel like you guys already know the setting powder I'm gonna use. If you don't, I'm guessing you're new. Nice to meet you. But on this channel, we love the I Heart Revolution scented baking powder. It's one of our favorites, okay? It's drugstore, it's five pounds. This powder I have been using, I wanna say two years now, and I have not put her down. And I haven't found anything from the drugstore that beats this. I'm grabbing this on the powder puff and just Locking that concealer in place. I'm sorry, do you see that? Babes, if you don't have this powder, go get it. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of baking under my eyes today. I don't know, I'm feeling it, you know? For my face powder, if you're looking for a flawless airbrush powder, please, please, please go to Revolution Pro. You need to go to Revolution Pro and grab the CC Perfect 10 Press Powder. This, if it's one thing that you need from this video, is this powder. This powder will have you looking sensational. Don't argue with me. And cousins, it is under, under 10 pounds. Do yourself a favor and grab this powder right now. It's a necessity, okay? If you're a beginner, a pro, amateur, whatever you are, you need this powder. Like this powder will have you looking so, so good. Cousins run, <laughs> don't walk, run right now. Don't play with her. Look at the, look how like soft, it's like made my skin look. <laughs> cousins, cousins, cousins. Hmm. And when you take pictures, hi, 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 hi. You're gonna look tantalizing. You're gonna look sweet. Very, very sweet. <laughs> okay, the one thing that I would say drugstore brands lack in is powder bronzers and powder contour shades. I don't think there's many options out there, especially for like darker skin tones. The only one that comes to mind that's a proper hit was the Makeup Revolution Splendor. Splendor? Splendor bronzer? Grimmer bronzer? The big one? I don't have that anymore, but I believe the shade that I used was dark and deep dark. You check one of my old videos, I'm pretty sure I used it like in multiple videos because I loved it that much. So I'm resulting to the Makeup Session 3 shade contour palette. It's not that like this contour palette is bad, it's just that I have all the shades and I can only use one. I can't use the shade Power because it's too cool tone and Ultra is a shimmer shade. I'm gonna grab the shade Queen. I will say it does show up on my skin tone even though it looks like it's not. Not the best undertone for me, but it's fine. That being said, I just feel like contour product is something that, you know, drugstore brands should like work more on and like have wider range. So like darker skin tone can use some. Currently my favorite bronzers from the drugstore is the Juvia's Place Bronze Face Palette. I love the shade Deep Dark and Dark. Unfortunately, I can't use it in today's video because it's not under 10 pounds. But if you are willing to spend a little bit more, I would say get these. They are really, really good i love them but just to accommodate today's video i'm going to use the 
throw shade palette because this palette is actually nine pounds. I would say this is more suited for a makeup artist rather than an individual that wants to use it for themselves because you only use one shade out of nine. It's decent, but there's this palette that I used to use that I loved to like front of my face with because you guys know the struggles that we had as darker skin tone babes. We had to use eyeshadows as bronzers and contour shades. In doing that, I found this NYX Lid Lingerie Eyeshadow Palette. It's just a cute small palette and this shade right here, well you guys can see, this shade was so loved by me. It was my go-to. I am going to stick my brush in here like so obviously not the best but back in the day this was good enough now we do have a little bit of option but i definitely feel like the drugstore brands can do a little bit more they're getting it with the concealers now they're getting it with the bronze and shades now i need you guys to do a little bit more just provide us with like you know powder okay when it comes to eyeshadow palettes the drugstore brands they get it. They really, really get it. They are really on their ish when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, pigmentation, blending. Oh, child, they got it all. Especially Makeup Revolution, Makeup Session, Juvia's Place. Girl, they don't play when it comes to the eyeshadows. They do not play. Elf, there's a little bit more work, but it has some decent palettes. MUA has some decent palettes as well. I personally wouldn't go to Maybelline for eyeshadow palettes. But if you like it, that's your own. But don't come to me, okay? Because you ain't gonna get it here. Eyeliners, mascaras, concealers, they got it. But eyeshadow isn't really their forte. If you're looking for a good quality eyeshadow palettes, I'll recommend Makeup Revelation and Makeup Session. They have really good eyeshadow palettes. Juvia's Place has really, really good palettes, but I don't know if they're under 10 pounds. But if you're looking to spend a little bit more, I will go for Juvia's Place. Today I'll be using the Revelation Pro I Am Everything eyeshadow palette. It's a really cute palette that contains five shades, three of it which are matte and two of it which are shimmers. So of course, I'm gonna start off with the dark brown shade. You guys know I like to work my way from dark to light and just tap that on our outer corners. Very, very, very pigmented. I'm gonna quickly grab my Fit Me powder and I'm gonna set my entire eyelid. So now I'm gonna go in with the transition shade in this palette and just place that right above my crease. I don't really know what eye look I'm going for. I'm just kind of like winging it right now. And then I'm gonna grab the dark brown shade again, but this time on a fluffy brush and just blend that into my crease. I don't know if I should use this shade or this shade. I think I'm gonna use this shade, the more skin tone like shade. Let's grab a brush and apply this with a brush. Not gonna lie, this look is a tiny bit boring. So I'm gonna go in with the red shade in this. I'm gonna stamp that on my lash line. Didn't really do much, but at least it's not just like a gold eyeshadow look. Okay, we're gonna start dotting off the excess part of our face. We don't need her no more. As you can see, we're looking very, very powdery right now. That is where this Pro Base Fix and Spray comes in play and shows us what it's all about. So I'm gonna set our face with this. Literally drench your face, like be soaking wet. You also have that sense where you just merge my makeup together. I don't look as powdery as I did like two seconds ago. Blushes under 10 pounds that I would recommend is the I Heart Revolution Matte Blush or the MUA Matte Blush as well. These two are pretty nice, but if you're looking to spend a little bit more money, I will recommend the Juvia's Place Blush Palette. You get two shades that will complement your skin tone. You can even mix them together or use either or. Literally, Juvia's Place be coming for people's necks. So if you're looking to spend a little bit more, I think this is like 15 pounds, but it's worth it. 
is worth it, okay? But less than 10 pounds, either I Have Revolution or MUA. These are the ones that I have used and I would recommend to you guys. I'm pretty sure there's more out there. I know that L'Oreal done a really pretty blush powder as well. The range didn't have a wide selection and the ones that they had wouldn't complement my skin tone. But a lot of people that are lighter than me really like those ones. So that is more options for the light skin babes. I'm gonna grab Kind. I'm just gonna place that on our cheeks. Just for fun, I'm gonna add the MUA blush powder as well. This is in the shade Atomic Tangerine. I'm gonna tap a little bit of this on as well. Oh, the cheeks pigmented. Oh, chill. The kind from Eye Revolution, you do have to build up, whereas the blush from MUA has pigment straight away, so you have to work with a lighter hand. Mascara from the drugstore are hit or miss, but the one brand that does really good mascaras is, of course, Maybelline. One of my favorite is the Maybelline The Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. Unfortunately, this is under £10. This is £11. So I'm gonna have to use the 17 um, Ultimate Lasting Curl Mascara. This one isn't bad either. I would say it's a dupe for the Colossal by Maybelline. As you guys can see, the ones are very, very similar, but the 17 Cosmetic is like half the price of the Maybelline mascara. Can I got my eyelid, but it's fine. My lashes will cover that up. Speaking of lashes, I got some of these gorgeous, gorgeous lashes from Cavalli, and they look so stunning, and I'm gonna use them in today's video. Very, very cute, and they'll send me a mini card as well, which is so lovely. I think I'm gonna put two lashes together just because I want them to be a little bit thicker. Love the length of them, but just want them to be a tiny bit thicker. I'm gonna mix Flora and Thumbshell together. This is what they look like as is. Here is their socials, check them out, guys. I went on the website, and the lashes are really Really affordable and they have so many options look how wispy these are by itself this is what bombshell looks like on and this is what flora looks like by itself and then together that's what they're looking like oh she's pretty okay 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 these are so pretty oh my gosh Cousins, check them out. To finish off the eye look, I'm gonna grab the red shade that we used. I'm gonna pop this under my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara for my lower lashes. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry up. Okay, final product lips from the drugstore i'm not gonna lie in the drugstore department it is a hit or miss just because there's so many different shades different undertone and it very much depends on you as an individual in terms of what you're looking for are you looking for a liquid lipstick a matte finish a shine finish you know lipsticks glosses are you looking for pigmented gloss like an oil gloss is very much dependent on you and what you like but the one brand that i would say always kills it with their lip product is nyx cosmetics their lip product always hit majority of them i don't think are under 10 pounds but they are really really worth it but also emmy does really good products as well so does makeup revolution um l'oreal surprisingly has really good lip products as well kiko cousins kiko don't have that much good products but when it comes to their lip products chef kiss their lip products hits as well any other products from them i'm not too sure about but their lip products oh, their lip product hits, okay? Today I'm actually gonna use the MUA Super Stylo Satin Finish Lipstick. This is in the shade Super Nude. Now, I'll just in the center of my lips. Just a little bit, because I am going in with their tinted lip gloss in the shade Glazed. Just tapping that in the center as well. And then finishing it off top with their Plumping Lip Gloss. I wanna put a lot of this on the back of my hand because I don't wanna get the applicator dirty. And then use a brush to apply it. Or you can go in, of course, with my one pound NK Lip Gloss from the hair shop. My absolute favorite around the diet is a pound. Well, naturally, no, it's a pound 50 now. They're bumping their price. But this, darlings, I have so many of these Ds. I go through like water. I use them every single day. I just love it like so. And this is pretty much the result of my favorite drugstore makeup that are under 10 pounds. So cousins, we have come to the end of today's video. What do you guys think about the products that I used today's video? Do you guys use any already and you love? Let me know. And so cousins, these are my top products that I would recommend that are under 10 pounds. Of course, if you guys are interested to see my actual top favorite drugstore products, 
products with no money restrictions please let me know down below as well this just shows that you don't need to spend so much money on makeup for you to look good products that are under 10 pounds still hits let me know some of your favorite under 10 pound products down below as well and i'll try to check it out and maybe even try it in a video as well by the way cousins don't forget to check out cavalli lash to purchase some really gorgeous lashes and thank you to them for sending out some lovely pairs of lashes which are affordable as well thank you cousins so much for watching i love you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.